This might come as a surprise to you, but the only thing requested just about as much as Roblox VR on the Quest is how to bring your phone into virtual reality with you. And to be completely honest with you, I kind of understand it. The phone is something we've come to use quite a bit. It's our means of communication, it's our means of gathering information, and it's something that you might prefer to have with you at most times. But when you jump into virtual reality, you can't really do that, unless you want to be giving someone the VR headset look, which is exactly what I'm going to call peeking through the bottom of the facial interface, trying to look at your phone. What is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you, both on Quest Standalone and on PC VR, how you can get access to your phone inside virtual reality wherever you are without needing to close the app. Let's jump right in. So once again, this is something that has been asked quite a bit, but it's only been available since recently. Until now, if you wanted to look at your phone inside virtual reality, you'd either have to take off the headset or close the app. But now, Meta has added multitasking to the Quest 2. This has been available on the Quest Pro and PC VR for a very long time, but now you can open up your phone without needing to close out of the app. So let's begin with Quest Standalone, and then we'll jump in to PC VR. First thing you will need is developer mode enabled and a means of installing APKs. If you don't know how to install APKs, check out my video on it right up here. Next thing you will require is some sort of remote connection to your phone. I'm going to use AnyDesk simply because it's something I've been using for many, many years now, and it just works. So download the AnyDesk APK using something like APK Pure or APK Mirror or any other remote desktop application that you feel like using and sideload that to your Quest. Once you have that on your Quest, jump over into Unknown Sources and launch the app you will be using. Then download and install the exact same app onto your phone. Your phone should give you some form of ID or some sort of way of connecting directly to the device. You may require an additional plugin in order to allow you to actually use your phone inside virtual reality, which this will allow you to do. It won't just allow you to look at your phone and not interact with it. This will also allow you to interact with it. So I downloaded the AOSP plugin for AnyDesk onto my phone since my phone is running Android AOSP, which stands for Android Open Source Project, which also stands for Stock Android. Now, many of you may know I don't actually have an iPhone, but don't worry, I found this random iPad in my car. So now we have a device to test with, and I'm happy to report that it is basically much of the same on iOS. You download any desk, you get an ID, and you complete the process exactly as you would on Android. So feel free to follow the tutorial exactly as we would otherwise. Once all that is installed, input the ID that your phone is giving you into your Quest. And next thing you might want to do, and I don't necessarily recommend you do this, this is the part you might want to think twice about, is enable unattended access on your phone. This will essentially allow you to connect your Quest to your phone without having to do anything on your phone whatsoever. This comes with its own security risks, so I actually won't be doing it on my phone. I just prefer pressing the accept button anytime I want to connect. So once you've input the ID into your Quest, press connect, and you should get a prompt on your phone as to whether you actually want to connect. Once you've accepted the prompt on your phone, you should now see your phone screen directly inside your Quest. Save this information for any future use, and now you can jump into any VR app you like. And anytime you need to check your phone or interact with it while in virtual reality, you can just launch your 2D remote desktop application right there without closing out of your game. Now, you will still need to accept it on your phone, unfortunately, if you haven't enabled unattended access, which isn't the best way of doing this ever, but currently I would say it is certainly the safest way of doing it. The only issue I've noticed with iOS here is that it seems to be quite a bit more strict when it comes to actually controlling these devices. While you can view your screen, you can't seem to actually do anything with it. So I'm not sure how useful that is there. That is how you can access your phone on Quest Standalone, whether it's the Quest 2 or the Quest Pro, and you don't have to do any funny stuff. Now, let's move on to PC VR. PC VR gets a lot more interesting, as the way we will be doing it here is just a lot better, in my opinion, and makes things a whole ton easier. So, first thing you will need to do is grab your phone, tap on build number seven times, and enable developer options. Once you've enabled developer options, hop in and enable USB debugging. Once you've enabled USB debugging, go back to your PC. Now what you will need to download is script C. Script, scripts, script, you get the point. It's a funny name. It's what SideQuest uses to stream the screen from your Quest directly to your computer. It's actually a really cool piece of software as it also allows remote input, allowing you to use your mouse and keyboard to control your phone, which 
sounds incredible and is incredible if you ever need to do anything on a phone that has a broken display. Sorry, tech nerd came out of me. Once you have downloaded Script C, extract it to somewhere where you'll remember it. Now connect your phone to your computer. You can also use ADB over Wi-Fi if you feel like doing that, and to do that, you can actually use SideQuest. So if you want to enable ADB over Wi-Fi on your phone to use this wirelessly, just open up SideQuest, connect your phone to your computer using a wire, and click this button in the top right of SideQuest. Then press connect, and wait for your phone to reshow up in the top left of SideQuest. Then fire up ScriptC. A prompt might show up on your phone asking you whether you want to accept this computer for ADB debugging purposes. Tap on Always Allow on this computer and you should see your phone screen show up on your computer. You should also have full access to it, allowing you to use your mouse on it and also your keyboard for typing and anything else, which is absolutely fantastic. And the best part about Script C is even if your phone goes to sleep, you can actually wake it using Script C. As well as the fact that if your phone is on Android 11 or higher, you can also transmit audio. And you can see me smiling because on PC, this really is an all-in-one solution. So now let's jump into Steam VR and let me show you what you need to do in Steam VR to mount your phone to your wrist as if it was a watch. Damn, that sounds futuristic. What you will require from Steam is OVR Toolkit. OVR Toolkit is a really cool piece of application that I highly recommend you download if you ever want to mount any window or anything inside virtual reality. It also gives you a really cool watch on your wrist that allows you to control your music directly there from your wrist inside virtual reality, whichever app you're in. However, what we will be using it for is jumping into its menu and mounting a window to my wrist. So with the script C window open in the background, here's exactly how you would do that. Once you are in the OVR toolkit menu, click on spawn new window. Then on the list of windows, find the script C window that you had opened earlier and select it. This will spawn the script C window in front of you inside the virtual space. Next thing you will want to do is change a few settings. First of all, resize the window so that it's not so obnoxiously large, and then scroll down to the very bottom and mount it to whichever controller you like. I'm going to make it tracked with the left controller. Then you can grab it with both triggers and place it wherever you would like it to stay. You also have a multitude of other options and settings here, for example, making the window disappear if you're not looking at it, and other interesting things like that. It's a very versatile piece of software. Now for iOS, you will also be required to to download the AnyDesk or any other remote access software onto your computer. And from there on out, it's much of the same. Except the only difference is when selecting the windows, instead of selecting the script C window, you select the AnyDesk window. Then mount the AnyDesk window to your left or right controller, whichever one you prefer, and move it around till it's in the location that you want it in. And boom, you've got the exact same setup. Now remember, unfortunately, you will not be able to control your iOS device with AnyDesk. I'm not sure if there's a different piece of software that would allow you to do this, however, any desk will not. And that's how simple it is to mount your phone to your wrist and have it with you at all times like a super cool futuristic smartwatch inside virtual reality on PC VR. I also have it set up on my phone that if I double tap the screen, it wakes up. So I can do the exact same thing inside virtual reality and not have to have my phone on the whole time, which is great because battery. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope this one helps a few of you out. I know that this one is going to be a little bit niche, but it's been asked enough in the comments that I feel like I want to bring some light to this for the people that might need it. And hopefully it helps you guys out. If you like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this one works too, but let me know why. Down down below. If you guys are not yet part of a community, check out our Discord down below and check out our Reddit. I want to see you posting your spicy memes on there. And thank you so, so much to all the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys are helping me out so much right now, and I cannot explain to you how much that means to me. As usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.